Arabic, and it's also a review of the remainder theorem. Uh, and the conjugate factor theorem, or uh, complex theorem. When you're factoring a polynomial, sometimes you're going to do the, the uh, uh, quadratic formula and you get like i, right? And those i's are turned into roots. And a root looks like this. Uh, 1 plus i equals to x. Now, how can you turn it into a factor? take the remainder, when they give it to you, and when there's two things, you're used to being a, a factor having two things, but the i and the one are still one thing. This is a root. This is a factor. X minus one. Okay? Now there's a rule that says that whenever you do complex roots, and there are factors come in pairs, and they're called conjugate pairs. So here's X minus one minus the conjugate pair is x minus 1 plus i. And the reason for that is, is when you multiply those two together, you're going to get your uh, conjugate. You're going to have an x plus 1 and things like that. This is the root 1 minus 2i. Can you tell me what the factor is? a quick note, you're going to want to subtract, you're going to want to make this x plus 1, right? Okay, so these are what we call conjugate, conjugate factors, same as this one, conjugate factors, and A. Now what you're going to do is you're trying to find out what A, B, C, and D are. You might think that you have to do some kind of weird long division or something like that. All you have to do is multiply them by. And we're going to find out what these two polynomials are. So if I take X times, I like to put them vertically stacked and do the, you know, multiply out like this. Thank you. 
you didn't really use here. The major theorem, you're just going to put a number in. Let's say you're looking at a root of x minus 1. So what's the, that's the factor. What's the root? 1, right? So if I put in a 1 into this equation, I should get an answer. Uh, if I put in a 2, I can get a remainder answer. Once that remainder is 0, we know it's a factor. So apparently, if you put a 1 plus i into x, did all that work, you would get the remainder of zero every single time. But certainly don't do that because that would be a horrible thing to do. Put these four in and then get those remainders to the same thing. So what we did is we went with the roots they gave us, turned them into factors, x minus the root, gives me a factor. In fact, if you find the theorem says the complex, all complex multiply them out, and then we got the right side. 